In this video, I want to cover the last line trace single, and that is going to be line trace single by profile. Now, if you recall from line trace by single by channel, it's pretty much the exact same as that, with the exception of the fourth parameter where we have E collision channel, it is instead taking in an F name. And that's kind of the name of, well, the profile. So if I click on this cube here, we have all these object responses. And let me go ahead and bring over a vehicle. So I'm going to set vehicle to be the only blocking response. And if we head over into the code here, we have line trace single by profile, the hit result, the start and end of the line, and then we're passing in vehicle for the fourth parameter, which is the profile. So what happens there, I have this uh, cube here, I'm going to actually set it to ignore the vehicle. But I'm actually make it block everything else but ignore the vehicle. I hit this guy, I can walk through it, no collision, press E and it hits the cube. Go over to this guy, press E, and it does nothing. I look straight down, and it's hitting the floor. It's hitting the floor because the collision channel is using default, which is everything blocked. As you can pretty much see by default. So you're able to kind of, by text, select which one of these you want to have as your collision channel. So again, because we're using vehicle as the only blocking hit, this is going to return something. With this one, we have everything blocking except for vehicle, and someone's having fun on my road. Because it is set to ignore it, it's going to ignore our, tra our line trace. It's just not even going to bother with it. And I know this was a very short one, but that's pretty much all there is when it comes down to line tracing of our profile. Everything else has been covered. I still prefer a line trace channel for probably 90% of the stuff. And for the remainder, line trace single by object type is going to be my next selection. So that's going to be it for this video. If you'd like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below where I have a team deathmatch series just for my Patreon using Unreal Engine with C++ where we cover a bunch of different features such as custom spawning, weapon customization, scoreboards, all that fun stuff, and everything is multiplayer ready and good to go. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's down below as well, and I'll try to help you out. So, see you in the next video.